Good morning and welcome to my catechism. I am your talk show host, Father Lucas Guido, and together with me is a Brad Adam and Pierre, the President of the Catholic Faith Defenders in the Archdiocese of Cebu. Today is a very special day because we are celebrating the solemnity of the ascension of our Lord into heaven. Hmm. And this is something that we have to reflect on in today's Gospel reading and also on that part of the mystery of Christ's life that after he resurrected from the dead, 40 days after, he went up to heaven before the eyes of his disciples. And that was the end and the definitive uh, culmination of his earthly life and his ministry. And this is something that, uh, that Mother Adam and I are going to discuss together with you, our televiewers, so that we'll be able to understand what this mystery we call the ascension of our Lord meant for all of us. And please stay with us. We'll be back after this short break. Thank you. Thank you for staying with us. May buntag man, Adam. May buntag sa itong mga televiewers, no? Kumusta man ang atong adlaw, Karol Brad? May buntag, uh, Padre, may buntag usab sa itong mga kaigsunan, mga televiewers. So, Kaloy sa ginoo, Padre. Ang naghihapon nga ito ang uh, apostolado diha sa uh, Bible Postulate. We have our regular Bible study every Monday at USGR, Mount Carmel Parish. So, diha sa USGR at bang sa Carbon Public Market. Uh, you are all invited to participate. Walay bayad ni, walay, walay registration. Nya gikan sa alas 7 sa gabi, hangtod sa alas 9. Hook up na, Padre, sa online. Aro makita yun ang not only here in uh, Cebu, but all throughout the world. Thank you, uh, Brad Adam. Ya Kalong Adlawa uh, uh, is the last day of our uh, 45th National Convention sa CFD via Zooming. Mm. I hope that uh, members of the CFD in the whole uh, Philippines mo appeal mo participate ni maong uh, kalihukan sa CFD. O uh, karoon sa Adlawa in the Archdiocese of Cebu to nagipahigayon ng uh, convention sa Divine Mercy sponsored by the Divine Mercy Crusade of the Archdiocese of Cebu. Hmm. So, if you have time, uh, you can go to uh, uh, Cebu Holy Day Hotel along Ramos uh, Avenue, kay tuwa din to ang venue uh, sa maong kalihukan. Uh, I repeat, uh, this is one of the activity uh, entitled Divine Mercy Archdiocesan Convention for the Divine Mercy Crusade. Mm -hmm. uh, karong, uh, karong Brad, ato, I, have already, I have already mentioned nga we are celebrating the solemnity of Christ's ascension into heaven. Mm -hmm. So, uh, if we tra trace the chronology, Brad, it's like this, no? Mm. That Jesus died on a good Friday. Mm. And then uh, he, he resurrected on the Easter third. Sunday. Yeah. Then uh, after his resurrection, the Tabilin says Kanibutan for 40 days. 40 days yeah. No? And after 40 days, he appeared to his disciples. Mm. And then he brought them to the Mount of Olives. Yeah. And that's the place where he ascended Ascended. into heaven at right. the sight of his disciples. Amen. Our gospel reading, Karen Brad, mm -hmm. is taken from the gospel of Luke, mm -hmm. chapter uh, 24, verses 46, 46 to 53. Mm -hmm. uh, there is what we call, this is what we call the culmination or the last part of the gospel of Luke, mm -hmm. the ending of his gospel. Yeah. And we would like to read this uh, mm. to you and to our TV viewers, Brad. Mm? Yeah. So a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Thus it is written that the Messiah would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name to all the nations beginning from Jerusalem. Mm. You are witnesses of these things. And behold, I am sending the promise of my Father upon you. But stay in the city until you are, you are clothed with power from on high. Then 
he led them out as far as Bethany, raised his hands and blessed them. And as he blessed them, he parted from them and was taken up to heaven. They did him homage and then returned to Jerusalem with great joy. And they were continually in the temple praising God. Hmm. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Sa mga ni Brad, ang ato Gospel reading, nagtudlo o naghasoy ka nato sa katapusang ad mga panahon where Jesus appeared to His disciples in Jerusalem before He ascended to heaven. So, matawag na ito, Brad, nga kining pagsaka sa langit sa atong ginoo is a dogma of Catholic faith. Yeah. It is being contained in the Apostles' Creed yeah. and also in the Nicene Constantinopolitan Creed. No? I mean, We believe in Jesus Christ. No? He ascended to Uh, he ascended, to, he heaven. ascended to heaven and is seated, seated at the right hand of the Father Almighty yeah. and He will come again to judge the living and the dead. Amen. So that is one of the articles of our faith as we profess in the Apostles' Creed. Mm. Now, Mauni Brad, nga, also may significance aning pagsaka sa langit sa itong ginoo. No? Mm. Now, it is only St. Luke na naghatakan na to account a very a small account of his ascension to heaven. Yeah. Uh, that of the Gospel of Matthew, Mark, and especially John, we don't have a, a, a narrative yeah. on how Jesus was taken up to heaven. Hmm. Now, St. Luke provided us an information of the event, hmm. especially in a second volume sa iyang uh, libro in the New Testament na mao ka nagitawag the book of Acts. Acts of the Apostles. So the, the Acts of the Apostles, mm. just like the, the, the Gospel that he wrote, yeah. no, uh, usa na ang authorship ni ni, mm. si uh, San Lucas. San Lucas. Okay. Now, uh, to have a clear narrative on how Jesus ascended to heaven, mm. uh, let us read the, 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 the Acts of the Apostles, but mm. chapter 1. Chapter 1. No, verses, uh, I would say, uh, 6 to 11. He mm. says, this is what uh, Luke described the mm. event of Christ's ascension into heaven. Mm. When they had gathered together, they asked him, Lord, are you at this time going, it says here, yeah. uh, Restore the kingdom to Israel. He answered them, It is not for you to know the times or seasons that the Father has established with his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were looking on, he was lifted up, A, and a cloud took him from their sight. While they were looking intently at the sky as mm. he was going, suddenly two men dressed in white garments stood beside them. They said, Men of Galilee, why are you standing there looking at the sky? This Jesus had been taken up from heaven, or this Jesus had taken up from you into heaven, will return in the same way as you have seen him going into heaven. So this is the account of St. Luke recorded in the his second volume sa iyang basahon. Now, Brad, one thing that we have to emphasize that Christ's ascension into heaven is an event in history. Hmm. Although it's a mystery, yeah. but this is an event that yeah. happened in a certain point in a certain period of time. Yeah. In a certain uh, period of time and in a certain place. Yeah. Okay. So, it may, may, may not, is it a historical event? Mm. So, or just a, a spiritual event uh, that we cannot fully understand? Ay, akong position na brand is both. Yeah. Nga, ang iyang pagsaka ka to sa langit, sama siyang pagkabanhaw, mm. no, is both historical and also uh, transcendental event in the life of our Lord. Mm. Now, sa atong pagpamalandong ni Brad Mauning, 
ang atong ginoo na Diyos yun siya. Yeah. O doon kayo siya Diyos, o doon, nagbatulong si Tawhan o kinaya, the reason why He died. Yeah. And then He resurrected from heaven. Mm. So, it's being stated na in the Old Testament literature ng ng ingon, dili mo biyaan ang imo sulugoon nga ma dugta sa lubnganan. Mm. Okay. I think it's in the book, it's, it's one of, of the book of Psalms, no? Yeah. Mao nga atong Ginoo, no, being God himself, no. Wala gyud magpabilin dito sa lubana, lubanan, na banhaw siya after three days when he died, then he had to go back to the father where he came from. Pero before that event of the ascension, he stayed here on earth for 48 days. That's why we have this quarantine days practice that we always know. Yeah. Uh, uh, emphasize ba? No. So, mamatay na to, mm. no? So, atong, atong yung sa logo na yung 40 ka uh, adlaw, adlaw man siyang kamatayon. Mm. Di ba? So, I think doon ay biblical basis ay ng atong uh, religious practice or what we call that uh, religious uh, <clears throat> matawag na to o uh, usaka religioso na tradition mm. na founded on On the Biblica, on the, yeah. uh, on, Bible. On, on the Bible. Yeah. There is a strong biblical basis in the Gitawang Nato Quarita Dias because Quarita of the event of Christ's resurrection and eventually His ascension into heaven. Yeah. So we will be continuing discussing this event of Christ's ascension, Brad, mm. after this short break. So yeah. please stay with us. Thank you for staying with us. When I enter Brad Adam, sa atong discussion and reflection on the event of Christ's ascension into heaven, as it is being read, no, in our gospel reading this Sunday. Now, kung sa mga solte sa katikisim of the Catholic Church, Brad, meaning maong pagsaka sa lagi sa tungo ginoo. Now, our katikisim the Catechism of the Catholic Church in paragraph 665 mm. stated, and I quote, Christ's ascension into heaven marks the definitive entrance of Jesus' humanity into God's heavenly domain, mm. whence he will come again. This humanity in the meantime hides him from the eyes of men. Mm. So, Santo Babrad, Kakiling pagsaka, pagbayaw ni Jesus dito sa langit is not only his soul, even his body. So yeah. both the body and soul of our Lord yeah. uh, were taken up to heaven. Yeah, the divine person. Yes, the divine person of the Trinity. Maoigi mm. saka dito sa langit. Yeah. yeah, it says, marks the definitive entrance of Jesus' humanity into God's heavenly domain. Muna nga, Brad, nga dito sa langit, duha rin duha katao nga ito, nga doon ay lawas o kalag. Amen. Nga, our Lord Jesus Christ and the, the Blessed Virgin, Virgin Mary. Mm. Because we also believe no, that Mary was assumed into heaven body and soul. Amen. So, muna nga, uh, kita po, Brad, mm. no, may, may tabo sa doon nato. Pohon. Pohon. Matang na binisaya nga pohon. <laughs> On the last day, mm. uh, when uh, Jesus would come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, no, and all the dead would be resurrected, yeah. and uh, all the dead who will be resurrected would be reunited with their soul, mm. depending on all the kahimtang mm. uh, sa ilang kinabuhi sa kalibutan. Yeah. Kung ang maong kalag to anas lagit, Brad, mm. but that kalag will be reunited sa iyang resurrected body yeah. and together with the soul and body mm. will be taken up to heaven. Yeah. Apan kung ang kalag to sa imperno, mm. both the kalag <laughs> and, and the, body. the body would go to hell yeah. and would suffer eternal damnation. Yeah. So that is very clear in our catechism, Brad. Yeah. So as much as possible, Brad, no, uh, uh, let us tell our people mm. that we have to do our best to avoid evil and to do good. We have to spend all our time, our energy and resources no, in, order, in order to go to heaven. Nga naman, Brad, no, we don't know 
nga uh, what would happen to us in our life today yeah nga roman because any time we we can die that's correct no so kining kamatayon brad gililong nato para sa tag sa tag sa kanato no one knows exactly the time of his uh, his death amen so mo na nga kay wa man tamasayon na sa atong kamatayon so we have to do our best mm. you no know, use our material and spiritual resources mm. to be saved and therefore go to heaven yeah so mo na brad so it's not that jesus alone who would go to heaven uh, ang iyang pagsaka to sa langit mausab kini ang mahitabo nato Yeah. Kay matod pa, siya ang nag-una, kita ang musunod. Because the life on earth, the life of Jesus on earth, but, uh, Brad, no, the pattern of his life that he was born, yeah. he grew up, he died, he was raised, uh, he was raised from the dead, he was taken to up to heaven, that would exactly be the same thing to happen sa tag sa tag sa kanato. Ipakataw ta rin kalimutan na, then we grow up and become a mature person, then eventually we suffer and die, then Uh, at nila kinong tasabas itong ginoo brad nga we will rise again after three days yeah. we will rise again on the last day yeah uh, so we, and on that day when we will rise when we will rise again on the last last day uh, on the general resurrection yeah. that would also be the time when we'll be ascend into heaven yeah. body and soul mauna nga ang atong ginoo nang una kita ang musunod yeah. uh, the pattern of the life of our Lord will be the same pattern sa tungtag sa tag sa kinabuhi. Mm-hmm. Ikaw, Brad, so, kung sa may imong reflection ni Maong Ibanghilyo karon, especially on the mystery of Christ's ascension into heaven. Sa 1240, sa Luke, Father, di klaro, emphasize yun na sa itong iginoong Isto Kristo. Prepare yourselves. Why? Because heaven is a prepared place for those who are preparing them, uh, their, them here on earth. So, katong mga tao nga nagpreparar din sa kalibutan, Heaven is not uh, basically for those by chance lang mo add to sa heaven. It should be prepared here on earth. Kay mo na yang giingon, prepare yourself. Kay uh, siya, mo may kuan gyud no, mo matud pa sa kuan siya may pattern. And therefore we as a uh, Christian, Catholic, we have also to uh, to obey and uh, basically kwanta sa sa sugo sa Ginoo tumanta sa ugos sa Ginoo naman gina simbahan mo naggiya nato so dili mahimo nga maghimo-himo ta gatong kagalingon otherwise dili ta mahimo nga part and parcel of the body of our Lord Jesus Christ na may na may balaod na may mga kuan na may mga agianan nga gihimo sa Ginoo so diha kita mo mo age kanang giingon nga 40 days father na he ascended into heaven sa pagka 40 days so, niya Wa dili gyud na moy kuan sa simbahan nga after 40 days ayha pa ayha pa hukma ng tao because according to the church right after death judgment according to Hebrew chapter 9 verse chapter 9 verse 27 ang kanang pagpangadji nato mura na og pattern sa Ginoo nga ni isa ka sa langit after 40 days but basically kita ini kamatay gyud nato hukman sa Ginoo that is the teachings of our church based upon the bible In uh, Sirach chapter 7 verse 33, hukman gitu sa matayon, hukman uh, sa ginoo, no? na po na sa bagong tugon, sa 2 uh, Corinthians chapter 5 uh, verse 6, muna nga, kining pagpangadji na to, for 40 days, na pangadji, sa ito ang kuan, sa ito ang tradisyon, magkatabang yun na sa, sa mga naguna na to, uh, Father, no? according to the Bible, diya sa Second uh, Maccabees chapter 12, 12 verse uh, 42 to 45. 45, 46. Okay, so mo na nga, traditionally, makatabang yun na to ang kining atong pagpunadji for 40 days, or bisa gani, sa natong mga katoliko nga kung ano yun kayo, devoted yun kayo, everyday, mga, mga adjik yun ta sa alang sa itong mga kaigsunan yung mga patay. Okay, Brad, so uh, in continuation to what I have said, nga, si Kristo, may pattern sa atong kinabuhi, yeah na siya mamatay na badhaw and he will be taken up to heaven yeah. that would also would happen to us kung mabot na ang atong kamatayon yeah. kung niya uh, kita sa pag-badhaw on the last day and will be taken up to heaven mm. in paragraph 666 mm. of our catechism it says Jesus Christ the head of the church yeah. precedes us into the Father's glorious kingdom so that we 
the members of his body may live in the hope of one day being with him forever. Amen. So, mo na. Brad, no? Manay, paglaon mga itong hiuptan ka ron, ingon nga si Jesus na banha o namatay, bisa ka sa langit. So, that would be the same thing to happen to each one of us yeah. if we are faithful to the Lord. Amen. If we are His disciples. Now, kidding, go on, Brad. He, he ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. Yeah. Kung sabay buot ipasabot ini, Brad. Na, sa inong paminaw, what is your own personal reflection on this particular statement, which is a dogma of faith, na, that his ascension into heaven and is to the right hand of the uh, father is to sit at the right hand of the father mm. so unsa may imong uh, imong kaugalingong pabalandong ini sa akong pamalandong anak padre base sa pagtulungan sa tusimbahan all the power and authority given by our lord jesus christ from the father nya tanan yang uh, uh, mission dinis kalibutan iyan ang natuman mm. and that is the reason why he ascended to heaven because everything is uh, has been kana has been done. Okay. So, our catechism also, Brad, no? Ingi pagmuno sa imong pamalandong, naging on. Henceforth, Christ is seated at the right hand of the Father. By the Father's right hand, we understand the glory and honor of divinity where He who exists as Son of God before all ages, indeed as God of one being with the Father, is seated bodily after He became incarnate and His flesh was glorified. So, padayon ang pagtulungan sa itong simbahan. Being seated at the right hand signifies the inauguration of the Messiah's kingdom, the fulfillment of the prophet Daniel's vision concerning the Son of Man. To Him was given dominion and glory and kingdom that all peoples, nations, and languages should serve Him. His dominion is everlasting dominion which shall not pass away. And his kingdom, one that shall not be destroyed. So after this event, the apostles became witnesses of the kingdom that we will have no, that will not have no end. So this is what the catechism teaches about this particular teaching to sit at the right hand of the Father. So we will discuss more after this short break. So please stay with us. ato pada yunon ang atong discussion o ang atong pabalandong particularly on that statement to sit at the right hand of the Father. So, nagkaulog ka ni Brad na suma sa katingisip sa simbahan na to na sa pagsaka ni Jesus dito sa langit, siya milingkod sa tuong samahan na nagkaulogan to assume His Lordship. To assume dominions over all creation. So, dito Brad, ang atong ginoo, pag saka niya sa langit, no, nahimaw na siyang ginoo sa mga ginoo, hari sa mga hari, mm. o ang iyang gingharian would last forever. Yeah. And that is why, Brad, when we talk about the head of the church, there is no one but only Jesus Christ. Yeah. No? There is only one head. Yeah. No? Even the church, Brad, no, the Pope is not the head of the church. The the Pope is is only the representative of Christ, no? Yeah. Uh, the the Pope is the living, uh, visible head of the church. Yeah. But the one true head of the church is no other than Jesus Christ. Than sin, than sin head of the okay. church. Okay. Mao nga ang atong ginoo ng Brad tuwa na karon sa langit. Yeah. No? Ang iyang pagkatuwa sa langit, Brad, uh, together with the Father. And also together with the Holy Spirit, mm. no, he assumed that tremendous power, that tremendous power, na mabahimo siyang labaw sa tanan, and all and everything in this world, in the whole universe, is subject to him. Yeah. Na, mao na brad na karon sa atong kapanahunan, ito na man nagino ato sa langit, no. Iyan pa kita nis kalibutan na until the end of time, we are subject to Christ's Lordship. Amen. 
O tungod kay kita, ubus man sa kabanduas ng ginoo, hmm. ang atong role din yung kalimutan na, no, is to serve Him. Hmm. No? Nga naman, because before He ascended to heaven, on sa may iyang gihimo, hmm? He gave the final commissioning sa iyong mga tinunan. Yeah. On sa may higingon sa ibang hilyo, before He was taken up to heaven, no, You are my witnesses, or mm. you are the, the witnesses of these things. Mm. Behold, I am sending the promise of my Father upon you. Yeah. What is this promise of our Lord? Mm. The promise of the Holy Spirit that after 10 days, yeah. no human say, pagbaya ko ito sa langit, mm. yeah, ipadala sa mahal, Espiritu Santo. That's why next Sunday, Brad, would be the feast of Pentecost. The Pentecost Sunday, no? Mm. So, mauna nga atong sa Logon. Mm. Uh, in fulfillment of what Jesus promised to His disciples. Yeah. So, mingon to Gino, hmm? He raised His hands and blessed them. And as He blessed them, He parted from them and was taken up to heaven. So, they did Him homage and He returned to, Jeru- to Jerusalem with great joy. And they continually in the temple praising mm-hmm. God. Hmm? But before that, Brad, mm-hmm. no, in the Gospel of Mat- Matthew, no, there is that specific command of our Lord when He said, Go to the whole world and make disciples of all nations, etc. Yeah. Baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. So, mauna ang, ang mission sa mga tinunan. Mm-hmm. Ingon ani, Brad. No? Karon nga natapos na sa ginoo ang iyong mission sa kalibutan. He already died for us. He had already resurrected. Now it's the time for him to go back to the Father where he where he came from. Yeah. But his mission on earth to evangelize the whole world, his mission on earth to bring people to repentance yeah. and eventually to salvation, had to continue until the end of time. Yeah. And this mission he entrusted to his disciples, yeah. to all of us today in the church. Also in the church. Mao na nga brand. Ang atong gito ko tuas langit. But we have the Spirit of God in our life because the Spirit is the principle of life in the church. Yeah. No, we are now under the age of the Holy Spirit. Mm. Muna nga, ang rason nga nung ipadala sa amahan ang Espiritu Santo because humanly speaking, we can never fulfill that command of our Lord to preach the, whole, the, the, the gospel to the whole world. Impossible. That is impossible. Yeah. No, humanly speaking, that is why We need a divine assistance. Yeah. We need a divine power. Mm. And this assistance and divine power is the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, samtang ani pa kita sa kalibutan, Brad. Uh, samtang nagpaabot kita ng malaubon sa pagbalik sa itong mm. ginoo, mm. we have to do our homework. Yeah. We have to fulfill our mission. Yeah. We have to fulfill our... We have to do our task. Amen. And that is... Uh, to spread the good news of the kingdom, to evangelize the world, and to serve God by doing good to other people. No? So, ang atong task is kalimutan ba, ganiya pa kita din, no? is to continue building up of God's kingdom. We are part of His kingdom. Yeah. And for the kingdom of God in this world, inaugurated by Christ when He came, din is kalimutan. No? Kinig maong gingharian, niya din is kalimutan, o niya kita, kabahin sa maong gingharian. That's why, kita mga tao din kalibutan regardless of our background should always serve the Lord because we are under His Lordship and dominion. Muna nga, mingon, woe to me if I don't serve. San Pablo, mingon, woe to me if I don't preach. Yeah. So muna nga, ang atong mission sa kalibutan. Now, in your own reflection, Brad, no, what can you say to our televiewers? Unsa may lang buhaton, aron nga, mabahin, mabahin, mahimo kitang bahin sa mission o kinabuhi sa simbahan. Sa the Gospel of St. Luke 10.16, iklaro sa atong Ginoos Kristo, Those who listen to you, to the church, listens me, and let not only me, but to the Father also. So, kitang mga Katoliko, Padre, na ang ito'y balao diya sa simbahan, we have to listen, we have to obey what that uh, church teaches us. Otherwise, if we are not going to listen, then wag yun tamo, wag yun tamo, tuo, wag, wag yun tamo, minaw sa atong Ginoos Kristo. That is the reason nga naag ang simbahan og sama sa imong nga it is really the Holy Spirit who gives this uh, kuan uh, the gifts no kay naa man diha sa ebanghelyo ni San Juan kapitulo 14 versikulo 16 o 26 nga ang Espiritu Santo mao gi padala sa Ginoo aron maoy 
mo pahibalo, mo ay mo lamdag sa ganun ay diha sa simbahan. Mo na ang kining gibasa ng ebanghelyo, Father, nga the gifts of the Holy Spirit diha sa sa during sa Pentecost, which is our logo na to next uh, Sunday, nga ana agyud ang Espiritu Santo mo giya kay siya mao ang gipadala sa atong Ginoong Kristo. That is why the the church, the body of our Lord Jesus Christ still uh, continues to to evangelize through the church because it is really the Holy Spirit who do this in the church. Okay, Brad. No matter kanon nga kita tagsatang sa kanato kay bahin mata sa simbahan sa Ginoo, bahin mata sa kinharian sa sa Ginoo, yeah. yang gitugo ni kalibutan. No, we have to do our best, no. Mm. Uh, we are part of the building up of God's kingdom in this world. Yeah. We are not dili kita mga kuan ba mga parehas kini tong simbahan brad usahay mao ni I always uh, emphasize this in, my, in my, one of my sermons ba mm. na dili simbahan ang kinabo is simbahan parehas basketball game teamwork no ga usa na brad mm. ang reality I'm, I'm, I'm talking about the reality mm. na diha sa basketball uh, game mm. Napuo lagi katao ang active players. Yeah. Di ba? Lima lima. Lima sa usakat uh, team. Usaka team. The other team, lima. Mm. Sila lagi na yung magduwa. Matang tawag na itong active players yeah. of the game. Yeah. The rest are cheaters. Cheaters. Spectators. Yeah. Mausa na sa itong simbahan, bro. Mm. Mm. Only very few active doers and players in the work of the church. Yeah. The rest are spectators. Mm. Ganon mga... Eh? Mao na mga tao nga brad nga way gihimo sige lang padan <laughs> aw paniin unya usahay na naway mm. pero wag gid baka kuligi contribute no mm. sa kinabuhi og vision sa simbahan mm. no they are parts of the church but they are not active players of the work of the church yeah. especially uh, uh, in the work of evangelization yeah. mao na brad nga kita karon kay tuan man ginotos langit mm iyang gitahasan sa pagpadayon sa mission ng kalibutan. Yeah. So, ang Ginoo of Brothers, I, I have a there is a beautiful story, no? Mm. Although it's just a mere story, but it has a, a, a le great lesson. Yeah. Ang Ginoo of Brothers, uh, our Lord Jesus Christ, human siya pag sakas langit, mm. no, gisugat siya ni um, samahan. Ar no, ng Archangel Gabriel. Okay. Ingon ingon <coughs> si Archangel Gabriel, "Welcome, welcome back my Lord to the kingdom of heaven." Mm. No, how was your uh, how was your mission on earth? It mm. seems that uh, you are so tired, <laughs> no, and you de you deserve uh, rest here in the heavenly yeah. kingdom, no. So you must be uh, you must you must be you must have suffered a lot uh, for mm. the salvation of humanity, yeah. no. Now you are now. It's high time for you uh, to assume your lordship and power yeah. here on heaven, here in heaven. Mm. Mm. This is your proper place. Yeah. Yeah. Gipangutara siyang Archangel Gabriel. My Lord, uh, before you came back to heaven, you have established your church on earth. Yeah. What ha What would happen to your church na imong gibiyaan sa kalibutan? Hmm. Yaming on tungino. What do you mean, uh, hmm. uh, Archangel Gabriel? Hmm. Archangel Gabriel insisted. You establish your church on earth huh, with only 12 people. Yeah. And one of them betrayed you. Yeah. And your leader, Peter, you chose to be the head of your church. Mm. Deny you three times. Mm. What would happen to your church? Yeah. If your disciples on earth no, would abandon you again, mm. what would happen to your church and your vision to spread the good news? Mm. If uh, the other disciples went, would go back to their old business as fishermen in Galilee, yeah. what would happen if Matthew would go back to his... Uh, profession as a tax collector mm. what would happen to your church mm. do you have any other uh, do you have any other option mm. in case uh, your your apostles would abandon you and would not, would not continue performing their uh, side duties no ingon ang atong ginoo gabriel mm. i have no other choice yeah I have no other choice. Mm. Huh? But I would insist that my disciples would continue their mission 
yeah. I entrusted to them. Yeah. Because although they were uh, ordinary people with all their sins yeah. and weaknesses, but I trusted them so much. Yeah. <laughs> and our brother, no? Yeah. So, ang atong ginawa ko no say, other choice, yeah. other option, but to entrust his church to yeah. his disciples, yeah. despite the number, yeah. despite their small in number, despite their inadequacies, despite everything, yeah. he entrusted his church uh, to his disciples mm. and to all of us today, Brad. Yeah. So, mo na nga karon Brad, kawa namang ginoon din sa kalimutan doon sa langit, kita na po, may mga active players, no? Yeah. Not active spectators. Nah. No, in the work of the church. Yeah. So, more than I can encourage our gato mga tele viewers, our gato mga katawa, their parishioners, yeah. anywhere and everywhere, brad nga. Mm. Kitang tanan mga sakop sa tungo simbahan, no? Yeah. Mamahimo gyud nga aktibo, matli. Ah, sa misyon o kinabuhi sa tungo simbahan. Mm. Nga di lang sila kay kano mga katulik ko brad na tungo mga sakop. Mm. Ang ilang mindset ba ni? Nga oh, ay mga katulik, ay baptized, no? Yeah. I am a baptized Christian, a Catholic. Mm. It's enough for me. I have to pray. I go to mass. That's mm. all. Mm. Not, nothing. Nothing. Nothing more. Yeah. But that is not enough. Brad. It's Amen. not enough just to pray. Yeah. It's not enough to just go to the sacrament, to yeah. receive the sacrament and receive communion. Yeah. What is also important that you some, do something more yeah. huh? to get involved in mm. the work of the church. Amen to get involved in the work of evangelization mm. and all other works no, that can build the, up the kingdom of heaven in this world. Amen. Okay, Jotera ang mga aktibo, ang mga sakop sa, tim, sa tung simbahan. Mm. And you, being baptized Christians, no, by virtue of your common baptism, mm. you also share the life and mission of church na nakikitang tanan yun, mga lagad. Amen. No? O maukini ang akong uh, challenge na tong tanan because mm. this is our mission this is not the mission of the apostles and the priests of today yeah. this is our common mission we have to fulfill this mission until the end of time amen so with that brat we have to end our episode this morning and let us bless our tele viewers the lord be with you and with your spirit the almighty god bless you the father, father the son, son and the holy, holy spirit. spirit amen amen thank you and good day